Hello, and welcome to your final few weeks of PADM 404, uh, Homeland Defense and Security in Practice. I want to just kind of wrap this course up, uh, or at least give you a preview before the paper, uh, and then wrap up kind of the graphic as I promised in the previous week. So, Lesson 7, uh, this is, we're in the middle of Lesson 7 now, uh, and then just cover the Lesson 6 graphic. But before I do, I want to just cover current events, and uh, specifically now, we're in April 20, uh, 2015, the big news is again the scandals with the Secret Service, or uh, as it relates to Homeland Security anyway. And the reason I bring up the Secret Service is that we now have three agencies uh, that have, when they've fallen under the Department of Homeland Security, their effectiveness has been neutralized. FEMA, Immigration, and now the Secret Service. Uh, in prior, uh, before the Department of Homeland Security, these agencies were independent. They had a direct line to the president uh, and the senior members of the, the administration. And now with the, this Department of Homeland Security, it looks like some of these agencies, their capabilities have been degraded. So I want to ask that question and let you think about it is, has you know the Secret Service or FEMA uh, has the, the creation of a Homeland Security Department been bad for these agencies and affected their capability to, to help in disasters or prevent uh, anything from happening to the, the first family? So that's just something again, current events. I just want you to think about uh, as you produce, go through the rest of this course, as well as you go through the rest of your your program here at Penn State. Uh, just going on to kind of more current or applicable to your, your current courses, a FEMA certificate uh, exercise program that's for week seven or for lesson seven. Uh, if you're having a problem downloading it from FEMA, the website, please let me know. I think everyone should be good, uh, but if there's a problem, again, it's a pretty self-explanatory uh, uh, lesson and to get the certificate and just put, upload the certificate and you should be good to go. Um, and then finally, the final paper. You also saw an example of the final paper in your uh, as in the YouTube I sent out previously. Uh, if you haven't taken a look at it, take a look at it. Please take a look at that YouTube before you start researching your final paper because that will give you guidance on what I'm looking for. And to reiterate again, I'm looking for analysis on this final paper. All of your briefings and presentations and memos so far have kind of been... Uh, formats, they've been just um, things that you, you standardize formats, standardize templates. For the final paper, I want you to think, I want you to analyze, I want you to ask those questions, why the HSGP is successful, why it's not, where are the gaps, and what are your recommendations to, to make it even better. So that's what I want in your final paper. Uh, and hopefully, again, don't do not do it the last minute. Uh, start it well in advance uh, so you can hand in a good product. Um, I just want to start off again with a graphic. Um, I mentioned this earlier. I wanted to just show you what right looks like on the graphic. Uh, these two are pretty much uh, excellent graphics to use for the uh, for the for lesson six. Um, a lot of you use bar graphs, charts, things that I don't think were applicable, but I think this, when you're talking about money and allocation of resources, you wanna use a pie chart and you wanna use it, kind of make it look a little bit like this. Um, what it could have been improved on all this is kind of section off what you're looking for. For instance, a lot of people wrote about how the HSGP uh, there's a lot of pork barrel in it, uh, and you could have kind of outlined this or separated this portion of the graph to make it more clear what you're looking for. Uh, but other than that, I think these two charts are, are pretty good. Again, one goes to the money that discusses the money allocations, uh, and one goes into just the percentages. And both, as you can see, they look clean. You get the points, they use contrasting colors uh, for each one, for each, for each graph. Uh, and then they, they kind of have an explanation to the, to the right here. So this is kind of what I'm looking for 
uh, for your uh, for your graphic here. So just want to cover that. If there's any questions or issues, please don't hesitate to ask.